You were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Welcome to the Cupid's Cup of Channel. It's Bash. It's Boogie. And we out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know that. You know where we at. And you know it. So, today we talking about, uh... We talking about, uh, studs being pregnant, basically. You know, uh, studs, stems, whatever you want to call it. Girl to girl. This LGBT talk. Yeah, just the talk. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no disrespect to nobody. Yeah, but, live your life. I mean, we clearly LGBT, so we're clearly family. We with you, but it's just our viewpoint on things. And if y'all have a different viewpoint or whatever, any feedback, feel in the free. comments below. You feel me? Say what you gotta say. I don't care about you know what I'm saying. What's your opinion. You feel me? So we don't mind. mind. Stay with you. Yeah, stay with you want. But anyway, go ahead. Take the floor. So, uh, first off, I want to know like. I want to know because I don't know. So, my question is what makes y'all want to be pregnant? You feel me? Like, if you were to film, you know what I'm saying? Like, what makes you want to go get pregnant or, or, you know, have a baby? You know, if you're a stud, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, like me, like no disrespect, but like Dom and Chrissy, YouTubers, I was a big supporter of both of y'all. And then, like, it seemed like soon as, you know, you had the baby or whatever, things wasn't working out. I feel like it's just because I'm not gonna use any names at this point, but I just feel like the film should have, um, been the, the one who carry and if it was like a fine like not a financial thing but like a fertility fertility problem where you couldn't carry a baby i feel like y'all made it enough financially where you should have been able to like adopt or like get custody rights of somebody who wasn't financially able to because that's still a blessing you know what i'm saying whether y'all using like a sperm donor or whatever that's it's not going to be your baby regardless. But no, no, no. This my big point. Blood-wise, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think, like, if we was to go to a sperm bank and was to, like, get a random, you know what I'm saying, person, it's the same as if you, I was to adopt because we're not going to be blood-related anyway. It's just I'm there for you as but a parent, see, you know? That's what they say, but we don't know what y'all do behind camera, so... Help me out, like, you know what I'm saying? After answer after the questions. I don't know. Y'all gotta help me At the end of the day, you got you got men approaching me, you know what I'm saying? Like studs like me who don't like me, you know what I'm saying, approaching me like they're willing to Y'all can make me change, like a dude can make me change, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, or cause they think I never you know, I'm a virgin still. You know, I they can change my life, you know right. what I'm saying? Or convert your way <laughs> of life. You know, it, it's just me being approached. So I have my own, you know, questions and all that. So, but I understand, you know, situations happen where you, you might not have someone who can have a baby for you or whatever. Or you might just be single. You just want to have kids or whatever. You might just adopt. Yeah, but. I'm not judging nobody, you know what I'm saying? It is, I be approached in certain ways as that. So are you calling yourself a stud, a stem? You like gay people, you straight, you bi, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you say you gay, you gay. But you're not gay, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That, that's the best way I can explain it, type shit. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of studs that, I don't know personally, but, like, a lot of situations I know where they're alone. It's like y'all had, y'all was together with a fam, y'all had, like, a regular 
them stud relationship or whatever and then when y'all broke up you turned them in you still carried yourself as a stud probably mentally looking for another fan to be in relationship with but instead that man approached you in your vulnerable time and you took it and it only took one time now you're pregnant that's yeah, not an excuse to me. I like, heard a lot of stories about that. Too. Yeah, and they'd be like, oh, I only did it one time. I was drunk, whatever. Yeah, and I just had a baby. Nah, baby that's nah. not gay. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm not judging you, but that's not like, gay. That's not a part of LGBT. It's not a game, okay? Yeah, it's, it's not a real, no choice, okay? Yeah. So you're not going to sit here and play like this shit. Just, oh, I could just come out and be gay. You know what I'm saying? I could just go change into myself. And, and I'm going to go right back to You know to what I'm saying? Do what I want to do. If people really do this, you know what I'm saying, so... Be true to yourself. That's basically what right. this is all about. Be true to yourself. If you're going to be a stud and have a baby, be true to yourself. If you know that you gonna you feel manly, but you want to be with men, carry yourself as such. Because there's men out there who are attracted to stud or more manly females. You don't have to play gay. You know what I'm saying? You don't have right. to be with a female or whatever. If you feel like inside you desiring that you want to carry a baby, that's a feminine trait. That's not a studly trait. That's not a manly trait. It's not no men out here that's straight saying... Damn, babe. Damn, wife. I wish I could have carried our kids for us. No real straight nigga gonna ever say that. Like, I promise you that. So, being a, a stud, a real stud, true to yourself, you are gonna feel as a man. That's why you carry yourself like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I just feel like be true to yourself because if you're gonna be a stud and just have a baby out of nowhere, and I'm not talking about in vitro and stuff like that. I'm talking about you're with somebody and you're a Fem stuff relationship, and you just choose to have a child. I would question. I mean, you. I'm if, questioning if you it's now. Nothing wrong with the fem having children. You feel me? I still feel like that. I mean, what, what, what is what is the problem? What is the confusion? Is there confusion? I mean, y'all might be on the same page, but. Yeah, maybe the fem don't want to carry because she's. Maybe y'all need to switch roles. That'll say y'all just. Maybe she's not treating herself as well. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's not. If y'all are in a situation or you know YouTubers, can y'all drop their link down below? I want to just, I'm just curious. I want to know. Yeah, like, I do too. If I, I, or if you're one of those people, if you're a stud and had a baby, like, contact us. I want to know. Like, I'm not judging you. I'm not. I just want to know personally, like, how did you feel? What made you feel that way to be the female for nine to ten months? Yeah. Although, I mean, like, we know you're a female, but... Do you just don't front about what you done, you know what I'm saying? Like she said, just be your true self. You feel me? Don't don't come on this camera now. Don't come on no camera. Don't you do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't you do it. Acting like I'm about to say girl to do <laughs> Don't come on the camera though, acting crazy, you feel me? Like as far as like just playing gay you feel me that shit just it's a turn off in the lgbt community it is yeah. it makes us throw you back to the straight side no, we don't want you over yeah. here we don't even claim you we just like shit that be confused goddamn. Mm. you know what i'm saying she tried it so yeah if you in your face don't claim gay if you know you fresh out of high school you seen a couple booties and thought it was nice and you smacked a couple night you, you claim lesbian that ain't you ain't no lesbian <laughs> that ain't no lesbian you you might you might be attracted to some pretty females or whatever body parts whatever you have it it might be natural instinct you have them you see it it might be something you envy and like without you knowing but please don't 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 claim you're gay and and, and just don't but yeah Anyways, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe because yeah, we see like, y'all subscribers going subscribe. up and we appreciate y'all because we love y'all. Because we need more subscribers. Make sure y'all follow us on Twitter. She about to get Twitter. I just got my Twitter today. So make I'm sure y'all follow us on All right, Twitter. Twitter. I'm not getting Twitter. I'm not getting Twitter. Uh, she ain't getting no Twitter. But no. follow me on Twitter. Make sure y'all uh, like, comment, subscribe like I already said. Like she already said. Uh, Instagram. Y'all see that. Snapchat. She got that. Team Bash. But yeah. We've been chilling, y'all. We're coming back with more videos. We're going to hit y'all tomorrow with another one. We're going we, to we'll be doing tomorrow. We'll be doing tomorrow. Y'all going to see tomorrow. Tune in. Goddamn subscribe. All right, and we out chill.